back in the kitchen with Chef Paul from Uliance, learning about another healthy and easy dish to make. Chef, I can't wait to see what you have for us this time. So we're going to go around the world even further and try some Asian meal. Remember I said to you, we're going to use every part of this chicken that we roasted up. And this is using the stock that we produced from all the leftover bones, skin, anything, any meats that we had left over. And so it cooks down to a beautiful chicken stock that we can make a great soup. And today we're making pho. Um, it's a Vietnamese dish um, and it uses noodles. But the classic thing of pho is the beautiful array of fresh herbs, vegetables, and flavors of the Orient. So what we're gonna do first is uh, add some more stock to our pot from the stock we've already uh, cook cooked up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have a, a fancy um, pot like this with a separate uh, container on top to keep the bones out, just use some cheesecloth. And there's some cheesecloth here that you can use. Wrap all the bones and the carcass in the cheesecloth and just that Im immerse that into your uh, stock pot, okay? And then we just separate it. This is a pasta cooker that you could use mm. to make your stock. And then we're going to add that beautiful chicken stock to our pot. All right, simply as that. This freezes and will be much better than any chicken stock or broth that you buy at the store because this has come from real chicken. Now, to add extra flavor to this, we're going to add some garlic, and this is just minced chopped garlic that we've put in there. We're going to add some lemongrass, and lemongrass is a stalk that looks very similar to a green onion, but it's a very hard stalk, but very, very fragrant. If you don't happen to have lemongrass, but by the way, you can find that very easily at all the grocery stores around. If you can't find lemongrass or you don't have lemongrass, try some ginger. If you can do freshly grated ginger, great. If not, just dry ginger works just as well. Add that to the pan and bring that to a boil. And we're just gonna stir that all in. We're gonna add our chicken. Um, any of the chopped up chicken that we had left to our dish and stir that in. Now, pho is a noodle dish. So what's pho without beautiful noodles? If you can find whole grain or soba noodles, they will work just as well. And again, these are all available in the international food section of most grocery stores around. All right, so we're gonna add those noodles to our dish here, like that. Now comes all the greens. And we don't want to add the greens too early because if we add the greens too early, uh, they're going to wilt completely and we want to keep a little crispness in, our, in the greens. We have some baby bok choy. If you don't have bok choy, just use cabbage. It's not a problem. And we're just going to cut the end off of the bok choy. This has all been rinsed and washed and we're going to add that to our dish. We're going to add some spring onion or green onions that have just been cut on a bias. And I like for a little bit of heat, jalapeno. If you don't like the heat, take the seeds out and it's very simple to do. Add that, all right? The last thing we're going to add is our mint, basil and bean sprouts and a little cilantro. So we'll bring this all to a boil and once it's come to a boil, it's ready to serve. Now you can make, this makes a big pot of soup you can share this with all of your family, or you can make it and keep some of the uh, accoutrements out and do it for a later dish, or even freeze it, okay? I like to serve it family style in a bowl like this. And you take out the noodles and the chicken first into the bowl, just like that. Make sure you get a, a good combination of all the vegetables that we've put in there. And then we're going to take the broth that we've made, or the stock that we've made from the chicken, and add that to our dish. 
Simple enough. It is. And to finish it off, we want to add some beautiful flavour with fresh basil, some bean sprouts, and a little bit of cilantro. And there, our beautiful dish is ready to now serve. It looks great. It smells good, too. And it's all healthy for you. Try a little bit of fresh mint in any sort of dish like this will add such a great flavor. And mint is very good for your stomach as well. It's not hard to see how we can use all of our chicken from our, or all of the chicken from our bird that we've roasted up. And um, so we get maximum efficiency in the kitchen on that, uh, but also maximum flavors as well. Thank you, Chef, for joining us today. Helping an employee make better food choices is just one key to improving their health. At Uliance, one of our missions is to promote genuine, long-lasting change. We do this through dedicated wellness coordinators, wellness coaching, comprehensive programs, and resources like this one that can be customized to meet your needs.